Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV, I'm Brett, and my hands is Rainbow V. Koala, a pretty cute picture book for kids. I put it, it's kind of a blend between picture book and graphic novel, um, kind of hard, you know, it, it, for younger readers. This is definitely for younger readers. Um, so it's by Remy Lay, and then it's by uh, published by Henry Holt and Company, it came out, I think, uh, early April. Alright, so Rainbow the Koala is about a young koala named Rainbow. Uh, Rainbow is born, mother teaches uh, her everything that she needs to know, and then, uh, or he, he needs to know, and then he uh, has to go off and learn how to survive in the Australian, uh, I guess, wild um, on his own. It's, uh, it's a pretty interesting graphic novel. Um, I would say it's geared t maybe more like five or six, a little bit older kids. It's the first thing I... I when reading these these books, these these picture books, graphic novels for younger kids, first thing I'm, I'm thinking of is is you know will my daughter enjoy it, and is it geared towards her? She's three and a half, you know, actually coming up on four, um, pretty advanced, loves to loves to be read to, you know, trying to read on her own, and um, you know it, it likes adventure and likes some scary stuff, and you know it's pretty good. Uh, and, and that department has some really very taste, love superhero stuff. Uh, reading this, though, I, I might hold off on this one or, uh, with her. There are very, like, a Bambi forest fire vibes off of it. Um, kids might get scared, a little bit mature uh, of some material. Uh, so Rainbow is off on his own. Uh, forest fire is based off of Australian fires um, and, and what happened. You know, it has to survive. There's also, uh, before that, a, um, uh, a drought. So Rainbow's trying to, and the other animals are trying to survive as far as that. Uh, it's a little scary and it's a little bit, uh, a little adultish in its themes. Um, climate change, environments, like what people can do. Uh, and I'm not saying that kids don't understand that, but, you know, this isn't like a, picture book, if that makes sense. This is definitely like that next step up, uh, at least for the material within. Uh, and it's it's good. Like in the back, it kind of talks about a little bit of like what's real, what's not, uh, some facts about Australia, facts about the trees, facts about koalas, and more importantly, facts about what kids can do and adults uh, to do to help save the environment, to, uh, to do a little bit uh, to make change. Uh, and that's awesome. And, and we're not talking, you know, go and rally and write your elected officials type stuff. But, you know, really simple things of just, uh, you know, turning off lights and computers when you don't need them, closing the, the fridge door, um, putting clothes uh, on a, a line to drive, bike and walk instead of driving a car. You know, really simple, small stuff. Like, it, you know, things that, that kids can do, or at least kids can encourage parents to do as well. Um, so overall, like, it's, it's cute. It's really, really cute. Uh, and what I think what's interesting, the thing that caught me, is it starts off of, like, I thought this was maybe just kind of like a, about a young koala going to live on his own, which, you know, that actually would be really good for, like, a four-year-old to, to go. You know, these are kids who are experiencing that. You know, I can tell my daughter is still trying to figure that out, of, of doing things on her own, and that she is, you know, a big girl uh, who can. Uh, so, like, in that sense... The beginning, I thought it was like, okay, that's that's really great, and she would be able to relate to this. And then we get to the Bambi part. Mother, mother doesn't die. Well, not that type of thing, but like forest fire. Uh, and I'm just like, yes, it's gonna scare the crap out of her. Um, so overall, like as I said, it, to me, I'd I'd peg this at like five or six ish uh, age wise. I think they'd be able to understand everything a little bit more, and maybe not quite have nightmares off the forest fires. Um, and, you know, they might actually better understand about the environment and helping your environment and all that. So, uh, it, overall, though, it's good. And I think it's actually a really solid book to start conversations, which is, I think, excellent. Uh, this is out now. You can go get this in shops. Uh, you might be able to get this in comic shops. We've got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code, uh, put in, uh, and it'll tell the comic shops near you. No shop, no problem. We have uh, links where you can purchase your own copy. There'll be affiliate links, so we would get a small percentage by doing that. It'll help support our site. I want to thank Henry Holt and company for hooking us up with the review copy. And, of course, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you are into picture books, graphic novels, comics, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky.
Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.